Good evening, assalamu alaikum, and welcome back to the SEA Specimen Paper Series here on C Results Academy. So today we are going to be attempting question number 31, which reads, the measure two meters, 50 centimeters, is put into the number machine below. Three numbers represented by a triangle, a hexagon, and a ticket looking shape there are missing. Write the missing numbers. So. We begin with two meters and 50 centimeters, right? Then something is added, three meters and some amount of centimeters represented by that triangle is added and that gives us six meters, 25 centimeters. So we want to know what that triangle is basically. Okay, so what we can do here is to take a backward step. All right, so we have six meters and 25 centimeters after we add the three meters and the number of centimeters represented by the triangle. So if we subtract two meters and 50 centimeters, that will tell us precisely how much was added to uh, the two meters and 50 centimeters to get six meters, 25 centimeters. Okay, so there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So we can't take 50 from 25. So we're going to regroup, we're going to borrow one meter here. So that's going to be 100 centimeters. Okay, so we'll have 125 centimeters. Take away 50 centimeters. So that's going to leave me with 75 centimeters and five meters take away two meters is three meters. Okay, so the triangle then is represented by, or is representing 75 centimeters. So we'll keep that in the back of our mind. Okay, so two, six meters, 25 centimeters is now multiplied by this hexagon and gives us 18 meters, 75 centimeters. So we can do a bit of trial and error here, or a bit of observation. And let's look at the meters. What number is six multiplied by to get 18? Or if we think of it in the reverse, what must 18 be divided by to get six? Okay, we'll keep that figure at the back of our mind. And that is three by the way. Six is multiplied by three to get 18 or 18 is divided by three to get six. Then we can look at 25 centimeters. So let's make sure that three is actually the number being used here. It's 25 centimeters multiplied by 375. Yes, it is. And it's 75 divided by three, um, 25 centimeters. Again, yes, it is. Okay, so this hexagon shape here is actually a number three. Okay, so we have 75 on the triangle and three as the hexagon. So now we have one more step. Which says 18 meters and 75 centimeters subtract 17 meters and 95 centimeters. That'll give us number on this ticket here and it's given in centimeters, okay? So, 18 meters, 75 centimeters, subtract 17 meters and 95 centimeters. So once more, we can't take 95 from 75. So we're gonna borrow a meter here or a group. And that will give us 175 centimeters take away 95 centimeters and that is actually going to be 80 centimeters so the ticket shape is 80 centimeters 
So now we know what all of these missing uh, values are represented by these shapes. Yes, we had 75 centimeters. We had the number three. And finally, we had 80 centimeters. So that's our number 31, guys. Okay, so now we've come to number 32. And let me tell you, this one is a doozy, right? This one is quite the question. So Karim has 48 meters of wire to construct fences around two square plots of land. The area of the first square plot is four times the area of the second square plot. All right, and he has 48 meters of wire in total. Shade the areas on the grids above to represent Karim's two square plots. So we have a lot to think about in this question. What I would like for you to do is to imagine, you know, that we're starting with some miniature models of Karim's plots, and then we're going to use this to help us scale up, right? So the area of the first plot is four times the area of the second plot. And both of these plots are squares. Okay, so here is a miniature model of the first plot. And here is one of the second plot. Notice that this one has an area of four square meters. And this one has an area of one square meter. So, so the first plot, the first miniature model of the plot is four times an area of the second miniature plot. Now, in terms of perimeter, the perimeter of the larger plot would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Eight meters. And the perimeter of the smaller one would be one, two, three, four meters. Okay? So we have an area of four meters squared in the larger plot. And we have an area of one meter squared in the smaller plot. Okay, so what does this tell us about the way that the um, wire is apportioned in terms of the first plot and the second plot? So we'll notice that we have eight meters used to achieve the square plot that is four times an area of the second plot and four meters of wire used to construct the smaller one. So this is basically in a ratio of two to one, all right? Two to one. So we have 48 meters of wire to be used in total. So what we can do is that since we know that the wire is basically shared or broken into three shares, right? Two going to the larger one and one going to the smaller square. What we're going to do is divide 48 by the number of shares we have, which is three shares. And that is going to give me 16 meters, all right? So in other words, the larger square plot is going to be fenced around with 16 times 2, which is 32 meters of wire. And the smaller plot is going to be fenced around with 16 times 1, which is 16 meters worth of wire. And these are squares. Okay, so if we divide these, both of these by 4, we're going to get the length of one side of each square. Okay, so if we divide 32 by 4, we're going to get 8 meters. And if we divide 16 by 4, we're going to get 4 meters. Okay, so the larger plot is going to be an 8 by 8 square, basically. <laughs>
and the smaller square is going to be a 4x4 four four square. Okay, and now if we were to calculate the areas of these squares, just as a way to double check, 8 times 8 is going to give me 64 square meters. And 4 times 4 is going to give me 16 square meters. So the area of the larger plot is in fact 4 times the area of the smaller plot. Because 4 times 16 is going to give me 64. So in the larger square, I have 32 meters of wire used all around. And in the smaller square plot, I have 16 meters of wire used all around, and that sums to 48. So the question actually said to shade the areas. Now that you outlined it, just shade it in, right? Okay, so those were two quite challenging questions, but fun questions when you think about it, right? This is a bit of unequal sharing here, uh, interwoven with uh, measurement. Yeah, great question. So I hope this made sense. Um, Rewatch it as many times as you need to to get it. Thanks for watching. Jimmy on the track, so you know it's lit.